All right, we are here in the Sonora Desert. Uh, Papito just stopped. We're actually on a little hiatus because we need some mechanic work. So while we're stopping the bus here, we're not gonna stop our one minute movers because you know what? In every minute, you could always make moves that truly matter. Now, today we are inspired by Ojo de Dios. Ojo de Dios is a Mexican uh, symbol, which means the eyes of God. I believe that when we create a shape, that becomes the first space of manifestation. In order to manifest, we use our body, our mind, our divinity, and our creativity in order to evoke what we desire for our day. I encourage you to use this one minute mover as often in the day as you can because it's going to expand your body it's going to open up your creative channels and you're going to start to listen not just to yourself but to the divine self, the higher self that you're evoking and calling in. And as you use your emotions, your energy and motion and how you feel about it, you concentrate that into what you are actually meant to do in that moment. That brings discipline, focus and clarity so that you're fully completely present in the move that you are making. So today, we are going to start with our wrists, our elbows, our shoulders, and our upper torso. Stand grounded with your feet to, obviously, the ground. Your head is rising up to the sky. You have a nice straight spine. Your chest is not caving in and it's nice and tall and you're shoulders are rolled back. You have your wrists and your elbows at 90 degrees. So if you're looking at a mirror or you're looking at this video, just look at how I'm framing myself in this picture as 90 degrees. We're going to use our first joint, which are our wrists. And this is a flipping motion, as if you're opening the box. So open the box. and your hands are on the corners of your eyes. So flip, twist, flip, twist. Very good. Now we're gonna just change the frame and do the same. Twist, flip, twist, flip. As you can see, I'm maintaining a 90 degrees and I'm flipping and twisting, flipping and twisting. This goes the same, flip, or symmetric C, or opposite flip twist flip twist all right now that your joints are nice and warm we're gonna do a snake like motion so try this snake like motion and keeping your hands smooth are you tensing your muscles while you do this? And can you create an image, like snake or smoke? Now, when you shape it, do your best not to collapse. A lot of our bodies collapse because we're cheating. If you're shaping and you're creating what you want, you gotta shape it with all of your intention. This is a diamond shape. Create a diamond shape by flexing your wrists. See, all it is is this and this crossing over. Now you can create out, in, out, in. And what I do is actually reverse my hands. Out, in, out, in. So now think opposites. So with framing, you can frame from the center, you can go to the side. You can frame to the center, you can go to the side. Very good. And you can go to the center. Do, da, do, da, do, da, do, da. Try that exercise. The final exercise. 
exercises to include your breath, relaxing your body at all times, thinking of yourself as a marionette, looking at parts where you can use your imagination like a string is pulling your fingers while another string is pulling your wrist. How, how long you can hold yourself by using your imagination versus your muscle. Remember, work, work smart, not hard, okay? So, this is the next movement is breathing contraction. This motion is a great motion for evoking and creating. So just using your mind that when we evoke and we put all of our ideas together, we're gonna contract our ideas, find the only thing that we need to intersect by contracting with expansion, I mean, with an expression. So notice that my body is contracting past the neutral and expanding past the neutral. The best thing is to find your limits and go past it. Live outside the box. Go beyond your limits. When you're stopped, like ourselves being stuck and waiting for uh, the next move, always be mindful about how you can express yourself, expand yourself, contract these ideas and then expand into new ideas. These are just simple moves that I do daily in order to expand and be aware of my body, what I'm creating, what emotions I'm applying into my manifestations, if I'm smiling and expanding myself. If I'm watching the form and the shaping of my hands, my figure, my expression, my confidence outside of the body frame that I'm holding, and my intention. This is how we manifest and this is how we make moves that truly matter. So apply your whole total self in everything you do and you become the greatest self. You can be. Enjoy this one, do it as often as you can, do it every morning, set a timer, 10 minutes, maybe even more. But allow yourself to play, to practice learning about yourself each and every day. I'm Diana David, and I hope you enjoyed this one minute mover, and I'll see you on the next one.